Hi, Year 9. Um, I've put together this slideshow to give you some ideas of um, what it is if you choose Art and Design for GCSE. Um, so let's have a little look through. So we do Art and Design through an exam company called OCR um, and you can Google OCR Art and Design and find out all sorts of details about the course on online. Uh, but this is just a little summary for you to give you a bit of an idea of how we do it at St. Ives. Have a read through this slide. Um, it's really to help you think about uh, in broadly how this course is structured over the two years. Um, and it, uh, art allows you to develop the skills and the techniques and the materials and the, um, all the things that you've been doing in Key Stage 3, but it gives you a lot more time to do it and a lot more scope for you to really get quite creative with your own ideas as well. Obviously, you'll be learning lots of new skills and new techniques and using different types of materials. Um, and it's, as, as we say, it's a, it's a two year course um, divided into two different projects. But we'll talk further about that um, later on in the slideshow. The, um, the things that it can lead you on into, if you want to take it on into um, sixth form or college, you can do art and design as an A level. You can do, um, you can go into graphics. You can um, think about interior design. You might want to uh, become an architect. An architect. You uh, you could be you could be running your own gallery. You might get involved in the film or theatre design. The, the scopes are endless. Um, it's a very exciting career um, option, and this could be your your first step on that. So. Does it suit you? Does art and design suit you, do you think, for GCSE subject? Well, the first thing is that make sure you've really got a keen interest in this subject. Uh, you need to be really enthusiastic and willing to try out different things and um, give it a go. Um, it's not a soft option. Some people think that, it, that choosing a creative subject is kind of like... Um, a lot of fun and not so much hard work. Um, I'm afraid to say there's a lot of hard work. Uh, over the two years, you'll be creating your coursework right from day one. Um, there'll be lots of deadlines to stick to and homework is pretty regularly set. So you'll have work to do outside of school as well. Um, you'll be expected to bring your own ideas to this course, uh, as well as obviously learning lots of um, skills and techniques that we're gonna teach you. So it's divided, as I was saying, into two, two projects. Uh, the first is the, the biggest portion of the, um, of the overall course. It's 60%. It's your portfolio project. Um, and the second project is what's called an externally set task uh, that is sent to us by the OCR uh, examining body. And that's 40% of your overall GCSE. Now, in terms of time allocation, these two projects are quite different. So the portfolio is created throughout year 10 and then the first term of year 11. So four terms in total. So it's a quite big, long project that you spend a lot of time really building uh, and creating a lot of work for. And then the externally set task will be set in January in year 11 and you just get one term to complete that. So component one, the portfolio of work, which is the bigger of the two projects. Um, we always start it with an initial skills project in year 10, uh, which will just last until Christmas time. And then you start your major project after that first Christmas. And you might get a starting point like um, identity or you might uh, be uh, your stimulus might be journeys or weathering, for example. Um, everybody gets the same starting point uh, and then you, it, um, we build on how you want to interpret that word um, and look at lots of artists and techniques and ways of interpreting um, the ideas around your starting point. So the second project, the externally set task, which you receive in, in year 11, um, you'll be given five different starting points to choose from different themes. Um, we never know what they're going to be until the exam paper comes through. 
uh, you just choose one of those themes and you build up a project uh, with all the different assessment criteria involved in that um, over that one term. So these are the assessment objectives and we use these for both, both components, the first larger project and the second externally set task. And you'll be familiar with these words because they're similar assessment objectives that we have in Key Stage 3, using different artists to be inspired by, um, using different materials and techniques, recording and observing, uh, perhaps using some photography, uh, and then presenting your work as um, in a final piece that kind of brings all your ideas together. So I've included repeat concepts in GCSE Art and Design here because this will connect very clearly with your Key Stage 3 work that you've already uh, been quite familiar with, with doing. So the assessment objectives in GCSE link really nicely with these um, repeat concepts that we look at in Key Stage 3. So being inspired and researching, using photography and drawing to record ideas, um, looking at artists and being inspired by them, using materials and techniques in various different ways, um, developing your ideas and reviewing and refining them, and then coming to a personal response. And of course that all takes quite a lot of time to build up high level skilled pieces uh, and I'll show you some examples of some artwork uh, later on in the slide. So have a look at these examples. So you can see drawing and recording here. These are all examples that uh, students have done in the last couple of years in St Ives um, and you'll see using different techniques, pen and ink, uh, different styles, different drawing techniques, sometimes from direct observation, uh, from the real object, sometimes from images or, or from their own photographs. All of these students would have had um, similar starting points, but of course interpreted their work in very different individualised creative ways. Painting, drawing, printmaking, mixed media work, um, some clay and 3D work. If you like doing that sort of thing, that's an, that's an option as well. So I hope this is giving you just a little bit of a glimpse into um, what it might be like, the, the course outline for GCSE Art and Design, of course, come and speak to me if you want to know any more details and, and you know where the art room is.